In this video, I'm going to show you a tool that can connect your HubSpot and LinkedIn together so that you can find all the leads that you can from LinkedIn and push them into your HubSpot. So if you're using HubSpot and your target market is active on LinkedIn, then you need to watch this video till the end. So before we get started, what even is HubSpot? So HubSpot is a very popular free CRM that's being used by over 100,000 businesses, both big and small, all over the world. But a CRM isn't useful without any leads, is it? LinkedIn is the best place to find B2B leads, but it's very hard to manage all of those leads just on LinkedIn. In this video, what I'm going to show you is a bridge between LinkedIn and HubSpot. What we're going to do is we're going to find out ideal target customer is on LinkedIn. We're going to figure out a way to get them interested into our product and service. Once we've done that, we're going to push that lead into HubSpot so that we can nurture them from there and eventually close a deal and make them our customers. For example, I sell uh, LinkedIn lead generation services, right? So for me, the target market is going to be sales leaders in the particular industry that you know might be interested in my product or service. So the way I use LinkedIn is first identify all of those people who would be a good fit for my product or service. So I just go to um, the LinkedIn search results, right? And figure out who these people are. <clears throat> so the way I do it is I go to first of all locations. We mostly sell to the US. So I select US as the location. Um, that's the first thing. Uh, once you do that, then the second thing is you need to go into um, all filters and then look at the industry. So for me, the industry is going to be uh, software development. All right. So these are all the software development uh, industry professionals in the US, but we want to get even more targeted, right? So we sell to sales leaders. So we go to all filters again and put in the title of, you know, VP sales, right? We're going to put it in a double quote so that it's, it exactly, it exactly gives me VP of sales, right? From, um, from all of the people out there. All right. So now, now our list is very targeted, just about 3000 people out of the millions of people on LinkedIn. We're looking at uh, VP of sales um, in the US in the software industry. Perfect. So these are all my potential leads that I want to push into HubSpot, but I don't want to push all of them because not all of them might, might have a need for, you know, our product or service. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to reach out to them on LinkedIn directly, you know, try to connect with them, try to connect with Dustin, try to connect with Mike try to connect with Hunter and first try to build a conversation with them right on LinkedIn. If there's any sort of interest uh, that they might have with our product or service, then we want to push them into HubSpot. Now in this video, I'll show you how to do all of that in a fully automated way so that I can go have a drink while Sales Robot works for me on the back end. All right, so the first thing we do is we have to go into Sales Robot, right? And create something called a campaign, right? So that's step number one. So what you need to do is go to um, sales robot, add your LinkedIn account and get started with uh, a campaign targeting these exact dream customers of ours. All right. So once you get in, this is what it will look like. Um, you won't see these many accounts. I will see these many accounts because we have over hundred people um, doing outreach for us, but this is what it'll look like. So you, the first thing is you add your LinkedIn account, put in your credentials, select the location that's closest to you, and that will give access to Sales Robot to start connecting with these people, your dream customers, from your LinkedIn account on your behalf, right? So that's number one. Once that's done, you go and some you go and do something called a campaign. So create campaign. Um, let's say I'm an advanced user, so you can actually use AI to create a messaging sequence targeting these people and get uh, them interested in your product or service. So right now I'll just tell it what my uh, product is. So I've just written down the name of my website. It's now trying to figure out what is it that I do? Who should I reach out to? So the first thing is it's now trying to think about who is the ideal persona for this particular product or service. And one of those would most probably be what I actually reach out to, which is sales manager in tech industry. So I'll just click on it, click done. And now it's thinking about what kind of message to write to them so that they actually do respond to me on LinkedIn so that I can push them into HubSpot. So let's wait, let's see what it's thinking of, and then we can use the insights that it provides. All right, so it's thinking about the pain points, it's thinking about the key metrics, and now it's starting to write a sequence of messages. So step number one is connection request. Do you want to write a series of follow-ups? Yeah, I want to write a series of follow-ups. So this is where it uh, tries to pitch. Ever felt over when managing LinkedIn messaging follow-ups? Our service automates this tool. Can I send you a quick long video explaining how it works? So it's doing a very simple pitch to get them excited about you know our product 
um, and service and now it will also write follow-ups if they don't respond to the first message so let's see what it comes up with and then based on that we can start adding more people just checking if you're the right person to discuss this if not if you could point me in the right direction so it's now thinking about getting them to respond right so it's trying to find out if they are the right person that's number two number three is uh, a case study right so that we can build a little trust so that they are they they trust who we are what we do and finally might be busy so this is good right so it's done all of our work for us based on our just on our website which is great right now we just want to add a list of people that we want to reach out to so this is that list we just copy this url we go to sales robot and that's it right it will start pulling all of these people in and create a campaign now once the campaign is created you'll start seeing uh, some of these people reply obviously not everyone will reply to you but out of 3000 you can typically expect a 10 percent response rate right at least 300 people should reply to you if your messaging is good and what you're selling is relevant to them which it is in our case what you can do is once there's some responses from these people you go to inbox and start managing your responses that way so let me show you how actually you manage the responses and send those to hubspot so here what we've done is we've looked at all the people who are you know um inside our uh yeah who are inside our uh, uh funnel so now what we want to do is if there's some degree of interest then we just want to um you know send them to um send them to hubspot for example this person says not relevant so we don't want to send them to hubspot of course but if somebody is is interested uh we just want to send it right yeah here for example this person says would love to learn so i just want to send this person to hubspot so the way i can do it is i can set up an integration within sales robot so i can go here i can go to um i can go to integrations i can click on integrate directly and add integration choose the type of update to send we'll just tag a prospect when we want to send them and we'll say you know all campaigns right so click on next step um so we want to create update contact uh you know so this is the account that we have otherwise you can just add your hubspot account it will just open up in a new window and you can just uh, you know like one click authorize and just add your hubspot account right in one click so you can just do that um, but here we've already added an account so we'll just hit next uh, we'll just add the details for example we want to see the email id of that person that we're pushing so we'll just click on email id so it will try to find the email id from linkedin and push it here uh, if you are uploading a csv file to do the campaign then it will just pick that email id it will put the first name as well um, and you can put in the other details right like company size and all of that you can also put the name of the company right so let's just um, use this one and test uh, the whole uh, yeah and you can select a particular list that you want to send it to so click on next um, perfect so the list would be static test and then we can just do email again we just need to map it for the update flow that was for create so email would be email id and then first name would be first name right so this is how you do it once it's done hit next and confirm and activate that's it your integration is ready so we can now test it right we can send a contact to hubspot that will show up in our list so we'll just click on test and now it will search we can search for this particular thing in our list and see if it's there right so let's go over to our hubspot now so this is hubspot and then we can just log in um all right so now we're looking into hubspot we want to see whether that person who has you know responded um gets in here so we just go to contacts click on contacts and we can just search for uh you know test at test.com yeah so we f we definitely see them here so that's what we needed right so we just we just click on this contact and we'll see all the data that we want to send right so this is a test user and this was sent using our hubspot integration now what you can do is you can just have that be automated so for example when you tag a prospect as interested then that prospect will show up automatically on your hubspot instance that's it so from hubspot you can manage all of your deal flow you can you know send them nurturing emails 
you can remind them that they're interested in your product or service and they want to buy from you. So in this way, you can make sure that your HubSpot is full of interested leads coming in from LinkedIn and you can make a lot more money. All right, so that's it for this video. If you have any thoughts, any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Stay tuned. Definitely subscribe to the channel. I see that, you know, over 95% of you haven't subscribed. So definitely do subscribe and we will get back to you with more such valuable content.